River Severn at Shrewsbury, like most of Britain's waterways, tells the story of the big freeze-up that has hit nearly every town and village in the country. As work goes on to let transport through, the weather experts tell us there's more on the way. In Wales, too, the story is the same. Like a great white carpet, the snow lies thick across the countryside. Central and North Wales are among the worst affected areas in all Britain. But even if the white Christmas they dreamed of has come rather late, the youngsters are making the most of it. Kent has had the lion's share of the snow that has swept the southern counties. Drifts of about 12 feet have been reported, and ice and snow have blocked the London to Dover Road. Although many parts of northern Scotland have escaped the worst of it, snow has fallen heavily in Perth and Argyll. In some places in Scotland, 14 degrees of frost have been recorded. Farmers face one of the hardest times for years. Many of their animals have perished through lack of food or by being buried in deep drifts. Shepherds and their dogs search in the fields for missing sheep. In several parts of Britain, the RSPCA and other similar organisations have been dropping food to stranded animals. Near Killin in Perthshire, Ben Glass brings Swiss holiday weather right to the doorstep of the surrounding inhabitants. To get to the top, just hold tight to the rope and the ski lift will do the rest. Once at the top, all that remains is to get down to the bottom again. Every winter, Perthshire ski enthusiasts just hope and pray Ben Glass will save them the fare to Switzerland. They canny these Scots. Anyway, it's good to see that somebody is enjoying the new ice age. But just wait till the thaw comes. It'll be a paradise for plumbers. <laughs> 